Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about some of the common leak sites on diesel injection pumps. Uh, with me right here is a 1975 240D engine, 616.916 from a 115.117 240D. And we're going to look at this early injection pump and then we're actually going to discuss some of the later pumps too from the 601, 602, 603, and 606 engines. These were the models of engine that were used in the 190D, 300D, 2.5 turbo, 350SD, SDL, 300SDL, etc. Now our first leak site is almost always with the delivery valves at the top of the injection pump. Not only do you have a rubber seal ring here, but you have a copper uh, O-ring buried inside these delivery valves and when the engine is running they can leak diesel and make starting extremely hard under cold conditions. Another area where you can get some leakage is this side plate right here along the edge of the pump and these guys tend to seep diesel or oil and this also applies, both of these apply to the later diesel engines. Uh, a third really common source of leak is this primer pump. Now this one's been updated with the later pump, but cars that have an early pump that you unscrew sort of like a water faucet and then you push up and down, those guys almost always tend to leak. And if you have one that is just leaking a trace amount of diesel, what will happen is it will suck air into the fuel filter housing and cause your car to not have the performance or the cold starting behavior that a diesel should have. Another leak that's specifically related to these cars and earlier models such as the 220D, 200D, and 190D are these fittings that screw into the primer pump. Each of these is sealed with an O-ring that is made of rubber and it will leak and it will cause all sorts of diesel to drip down all over the left-hand motor mount causing catastrophe. Finally, if you're getting a passive oil leak from the back of the pump, or from the bottom of the pump, there is an O-ring down here and an O-ring that seals the back section of the pump. And these two O-rings, when they are old and people let them get out of hand and they don't deal with them or treat them, what ends up happening is you get uh, these passive oil leaks that, that almost nobody can find and then you end up having to top up your oil in the injection pump more. In fact, if you're not checking your oil in these pumps, please do so. Anyway, for more uh, information on the wonderful pneumatic injection pump or in diesel injection pump leaks, how to time diesel injection pumps, how to increase their performance, please send us your questions. We will be happy to get back to you and of course, if you're not subscribing to our channel, you're really missing out. So have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy driving your Mercedes-Benz.